Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect, so let's start. Okay, so let's start from here. So before anything, I need to go to Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, and click here, and click on Contours, and click Append, and you'll get all the extra contours you need for later on. So let's press it Done, and let's start. So in the layers, you would find there's two layers. There's a background image, and there's a bulk text. So the bulk text, I chose Jungul font. I'm gonna put it a link in the description below, you can download it anytime. And the background image, I'm gonna put it a link in the description below, you can download it anytime. So in the bulb text, let's put it fill zero. And let's duplicate it, control J. And then create a layer on top of background and let's name it backside. Okay. And then hold control and press on the box of bulb text. And you'll get the selection. Then go to backside and go to select, modify, and expand, and put it on five pixels, and it will expand a little bit. And then with this color, 9C7F50, get the bucket tool and just paint inside this uh, selection. Then get the marquee tool and press anywhere he would deselect. And after that, let's put the fill on 50%. And you would notice that the background image now is seen through the bulb, which I don't want. So I would duplicate backside, control J, and I would hold control and press on the box and get a black color and get the bucket tool and just paint inside it and put the fill to 100 and just place backside copy underneath backside. And that's for now. So let's go to the original file. And you can notice here bulb text copy, bulb text, let's remove the effects. And let's remove all the things which you didn't see yet. And I'm gonna remove the effects of backside and backside uh, copy. I'm gonna name it as backside copy so you won't get confused. So what we have from the previous one is backside copy and backside and these two text. So I'm, I removed everything and we're in the same step as before. Okay. So after that, I'm going to turn on the effect for backside. And you would notice that there's lots of things going on. So I'm going to double click on the effects and I'm going to turn off everything. I'm going to start it one by one. So first I started with the outer glow. So the outer glow, I chose this color, 8C6C2A. I put it on screen and opacity 96 and the size is 6, you can always increase it if you want, but I think a small little glow on the outside will be enough, and the rest, and then I added a drop shadow, you can notice here some drop shadow, and I put it on normal, and this color, 130E00, which is a bit dark yellow, and I put it a slight 33 distance, and a small size, 32, and this angle, depending, because I want the light coming from the left top. And next I chose is Inner Glow, and you can see some darkness inside now. I chose this color, which is E4D7B0. I put it on Multiply, 74 opacity, and size of the elements is 101. Put it softer, center, and the rest. And I'm gonna turn on Stroke, and you can see there's some golden stroke going on. So the fill type I chose is Gradient, and I chose this golden golden one here. So how did I get it? I'm gonna import from the downloads the gold here. I'm gonna put it a link in the description below you can download it. So when you click on it you go down and you would notice there's gold here and I chose this one here. Try to memorize which one. Okay and I put it on 90 size 2. You can increase the size if you want but I chose 2 because I think it's best and opacity 100. So next I chose Bevel and Emboss, and that's what adds most of the effects. I chose Inner Bevel, Chisel Hard, and 310 depth, and the direction is up, size 21. If you wanted you can edit it, or increase the size, but I thought this is the best. And the highlights I chose C9A, C6E, and for the shadow mode I chose E0D, 8C1. And both of them are 75% and the gloss contour I chose this and the angle 125 and 30. 
So then I go to the contour and you would notice when I click here, it goes inside the middle, middle section and I chose this contour and I put checked on anti-aliased and range I put it at 69% and the last is I chose texture. So I'm gonna go to downloads and this is the gray texture I have. I'm gonna put it a link in the description below. You can download it as well. Right click on it when you download it, open with Photoshop. So let's press OK here and you will have this one here. So just go to edit, define pattern and let's name it gray texture. OK, and then let's go back and go to the effects, go to texture and then click here and you would find it here on the bottom and then press OK and you will have it. Just put the depth on plus 8 and 100 and you'll have this nice looking pattern here. OK, let's press OK and let's move on. And after that, I did the wire. So let's turn on the wire, light wire, and remove the effects and you will notice it's just a gray line. So let's turn off the light wire and add a layer. Let's name it light wire practice. I'm just going to show you how I did the wire. OK. And then go to the brush and put it the size 3 and put it on hard round and put the color on 555555. It's a grayish color because I'm gonna use vivid light later on which works with gray very well. And then get the pen tool and just draw inside the B. Right click, stroke path and remove simulate pressure. Press OK and we'll have this line here and you can continue stroke path okay and then do the same for everything and after that let's delete this for now and turn on this I did it on everything and then turn on the effects and let's see the effects right double click on it remove it first I added outer glow I mean, noticed the outer glow here and in the outer glow I added this color F F F F B E and I added vivid light 75% opacity, you can increase it, decrease it, I think this works best. And the size 13, softer, and 50 range. And then I added inner glow. And here I added also vivid light, and I added a color which is also grayish, white grayish, D5D5CD. Okay, and the size I put it at 1, edge, softer, and the rest. And that's it, okay. And then I added a light wire copy, which is basically just a copy of light wire. So just press Ctrl J, copy it, and you notice an extra glow. So what I did differently is, I just go to the effects, in the inner glow, I just, instead of 1, I'm gonna put it at 10. And press OK, and it will have an extra glow. And that's the only thing I added in light wire copy. So let's delete it, because I already done it before, light wire copy. It's an extra glow. And then I added the dots. So the dots are, turn it on, and you notice some dots here, and here, and here. So you can add it whenever, wherever you want, it's your choice. So let's turn off the effects, and you would notice it's just a circle. Let's get the color. So I chose this color, FFFDE1. So it's basically, go to the brush, and I chose 12 size. And I put it on hard round and if you click here and you notice it's just a circle similar to the one I did before so you click here 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 and on whatever you want you can even click here and here and here whatever you feel is necessary it's your choice and then I added an effect which is bevel and emboss let's double click on it and you will notice I added bevel and emboss and contour so if you remove them I added bevel and emboss first I put it on inner bevel, chisel hard, 126, up, and size. Don't play with it much because it might change drastically. So if you notice here, increase the size, it will add grayish color, which we don't need. So I think this works best. And the colors here, I chose a white with screen, 75%. And I added a dark yellow, which is 151800. And multiply with 75% opacity first and second I put it here like 64% and then I added contour and contour gives a nice effect which looks like it's uh, something that it has electricity so you would notice here I use this contour with anti-alias checked and 50% range 
and press OK and that's it for the dots. And next I used light details. Let's turn it on. It looks very difficult but it's actually very easy. So what I did here is, let's turn it off and add a new layer, let's name it light details. Practice. So let's create a new file and put it on 16 times 16 pixels, create. And let's zoom in and get the ellipse tool and put it on black and then put the stroke on one and just draw a circle and make it fill everything and then go to edit, define brush preset and name it circle. I already done it so I'm not gonna press ok. You have to press ok and then you can close the file and go to the original file here and go to brushes and go down till you find circle, press on it and go to brush tip shape and you can change whatever size you want, it depends on your choice or you can have multiple multiple sizes. So I'm going to choose 12 for now and the spacing I'm going to put it at 55 and the shape dynamics I'm going to put the control to pen pressure that's very crucial here and the control and angle jitter put it on direction and then Put the color of yellow or gray if you want because with vivid light even gray becomes yellow. I'm gonna choose this color for now, okay. And then get the pen tool and on the layers make sure you're on light details practice. And this, I'm gonna draw one, right click, stroke path and okay with simulate pressure. And you can add one here. Right click, stroke path and simulate pressure, okay. Here, you can add one on top of it, right click, stroke path, simulate pressure, and it becomes even lighter. So you can even add another method, which is brushes, go up till you find soft round, and go to brush settings, and brush tip shape, and the size put it at maybe 16, and spacing increase it till you find some spacing here. And shape dynamics increases the size jitter to the end and you would find different sizes as you can find here. And the control put it at pen pressure and you can put here on direction and then do the same thing with the pen tool. Draw one here like this, right click, stroke path and simulate pressure and you will have this nice effect. And you can draw one on top of it as well to make it even lighter like this. So that's it. Let's go to the layers and delete this one which we practiced on. And let's turn on this one without the effects. And that's basically what I did. So let's turn on the effects and you notice some glow. So let's see the effects on light details. I added inner glow with vivid light 75% and the color I chose here is D5D5CD and edge softer than and I chose an outer glow as well with the color FFFFBE and opacity 75 vivid light and the rest with 13 and softer okay so that's it for the light details and last we have the bulk text and the bulk text copy so these are the ones which I had from the previous file remember when I put it at fill 0 and fill 0 these are the original ones so I added some effects on them. So let's turn off the effects and turn them on. They're basically fill zero, so they won't appear unless you add some effects. So on the main bulk text, I added some effects. Let's turn it on. So I added, I added a drop shadow. A drop shadow which is multiply. I added this color, CBC, BCB, okay? With a size of 10 and opacity 75% and an inner shadow which add just a small little shadow you can notice here, just a small little inner shadow here. I put this color, E6E6C3, okay? And with a size of 60 and opacity 100. And the bevel and emboss in the end, which makes the whole change. You can notice it becomes a plastic looking shape or a metallic one. I put inner bevel, smooth, 316, up, and here I chose white, white with both 75%. I put on the highlight mode or overlay and multiply. And make sure you put this gloss contour here. And 
make sure this is checked and 125 with 30 and then I added a contour which also edits a little bit the metallic look as you can notice I put it on 50 range and the basic contour here and press OK and the last the bulk text copy I added some effects and it gives this kind of glass looking thing with the extra glow so let's see the effects let's turn it off so first I added an inner glow it gives this extra glow so I put it on screen with 75% opacity with the color ECE 4C8 and the size I put it at 70 with the technique precise and center and range I put it at 50 and then I added an inner shadow and you can notice just an inner shadow here it makes it darker on the edges with the color I put it D3C 4A5 multiply 53 size 35 and the rest and here in the bevel and emboss is the last thing and it added extra like glass looking areas here and here so I put it on inner bevel smooth 500 size 20 soft in one and the highlight mode I put it on vivid light with the color D9D 5BE and the shadow mode I put it on multiply with white 75% opacity and 60% for the highlight mode and the gloss contour I chose this one here with checked anti aliased and 60 33 altitude and angle and the rest and then I added a contour and it gives this extra look you can notice without the contour it looks like this when you add contour it becomes even more glassier look and when you click on it you can notice I chose this one here the ring double with anti alias checked and range is 53 and that's it so let's zoom out and you will have this cool looking glass lighted effect and one more thing you can do is go to the layers and go to the effects of bulb copy and maybe let's go to the bevel emboss and change a little bit this glass looking light here you can put it at hard light it becomes a bit whitish and maybe change it to a lighter color and increase the opacity to about this much and you can see it's lighter on the glass maybe put it a bit whitish okay and you can see now it's a bit white here on the glass and it looks more glassy yeah I think this looks better and one more thing I would do is I would enlarge the background so as if the light is coming from the bulb and I would add some exposure on top of the background only I'll put like 1.5 or 1 maybe and this looks like the bulb has some light and I think that's enough okay